guys welcome back to my channel so I feel like experimenting today um I've been wanting to stretch my hair out for a while because I'm due for a trim and the single strand knots are getting on my nerves so I've been wanting to try this style for a minute using my Mono's hair products so that's what I'm going to do today so if you just want to come hang out with me while i play around with some new hairstyles and just keep on watching all right y'all so this is where my hair is at and i did i've already cleansed with the mono's hair um co-wash and i have also um deep conditioned with the curl restoring treatment um, I have a full detailed video on the products themselves, so if you have any questions about that, you can see that video right up here because that is a full in-depth first impressions. So, I really like the curl primer from the Mono's Hair Curl Collection, so I'm going to be using this. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I want to... I think I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair into four and try to try to clean up the parts a little bit just so that I'm not so I don't have a ton of breakage. So now I'm gonna go in with the curl primer. Now remember, I'm not going for a straight style, so I'm not really worried about getting sleek results. But I do want to have something down to kind of add some extra shine and some extra slip. Go in with my comb. How are you guys doing? I figured I would make this like a super informal video because it's not like I'm trying to teach y'all anything, you know? I'm just trying to play around and experiment. But I really like this curl primer because it has a lot of slip. So it works through the hair very easily. I'm not using a ton of product because really less is more I find when I do blown out style. So plus I don't want to take, I don't want it to take like 5,000 years for me to blow dry my hair. So. I'm really thinking about ordering like some curl formers, maybe some perm rods or um, some flexi rods and try doing some sets. Um, a lot of times I just don't do stuff like that because I know how my job is set up, you know? Like I know how the buildings I work in have worked in in the last few years have um, been set up and so um, it would be a waste <laughs> because I work very hard I sweat a lot so sometimes I just need a break from wash and goes and I don't prefer how my twist outs and braid outs come out on freshly washed hair or like I shouldn't say freshly washed hair but on you know, clean, soaking wet hair. I don't prefer how they come out that way. A lot of you guys were asking me about the whole thinning situation and it is getting better. Um, I've noticed like some places, like I can see along my scalp, I have like little, little pieces of new growth coming in, just kind of starting to bud through. Um, it's not the first time that it's happened to me. Like um, back in the day when I, when I first really started noticing the issues with my endometriosis and I had like not a single ounce of vitamin D in my system, like I was that deficient. Um, I had some thinning then too, but I'm used to having to tackle things like that. I just do what I need to do and move on. Um, and it's not always that easy for some people. Like some people have 
internal issues that keep their hair from growing. I'm just thankful to not have um, issues to that extent, you know? But when you're losing that much blood volume and losing that many nutrients, you are bound to have some issues um, crop up. So that's where I am. Looking juicy so far, looking juicy. Um, not too juicy though. Um, I don't want them to be overladen with product because then that's going to defeat the purpose of trying to get like a nice fluffy braid out. All right, so now I'm gonna get ready to blow dry. Um, I just have a Conair, I think it's like 1875 series, I think. Um, I've had this for a hot minute. My mom got this for me when I went natural because it um, has like a diffuser attachment and stuff like that. So I love this blow dryer. It's nothing special, but I do really enjoy it, so. I like to start doing, start blow drying using the tension method. So I will hold my hair taut while I blow dry. And then once I kind of have a good, I'm about like halfway there on the section, then I'll go in with my brush. I just grabbed my, um, Pearl Keeper brush because I don't feel like using my Denman. Sometimes the Denman really gets on my nerves, so I'm not in the mood to use that today, so I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to go in. I'm going to put this on high and warm, and we're going to do what I do. Also, I get a lot of questions about this. This is the Philips Flex Brush, um, and you can get it on House of Beauty. I'm not done yet, um, but y'all can see where I am so far. So I like to get it about here, run the brush through, try to avoid as much snagging as possible, and then go back in. Just wanted to pause again to show y'all where I am. So I don't have anything to like really gloss my hair up. Um, and this curl primer does have a little tack to it, but that's cool. So it's where y'all can't see. Hold on. So y'all are always asking for a link check, but um. Yeah, so this isn't quite everything. It's so actually like a little bit longer, but yeah, I just, I don't know. Like I never really care about length checks and stuff. I feel like I know how long my hair is. I don't talk about growing long hair because I know I can grow long hair. Like when I went natural, that was never really like my problem, you know? <laughs> um, So I didn't go natural to focus on my length. You know, so it's not really something that I think about often. Um, and I love my shrinkage because I actually kind of hate having long hair. It kind of gets on my nerves. Um, so it's also why you've never seen me straighten it because I'll get through like the blow drying process and then I'm tired and I don't feel like straightening it. So yeah, you can see it's already like the ends are kind of reverting, <laughs> but um, it's cool because we about to do a, a fluffy style, so. Gonna go ahead and do the rest of my head.
see this is why i tell y'all y'all need to stop thinking that oh i should just watch this youtuber because she has seemingly long hair because healthy hair shrinks sorry to tell you this but um yeah side one down i'm i'm really tired already um i'm definitely gonna hit my roots some more because they're still a little damp and my hair definitely is not still not showing its full situation but so i'm like right around my boob i have layers so some certain pieces are longer than others And some of your faves whose hair hangs don't even hit their waist. So I don't wear nothing. <laughs> I'm going to work on these roots a little bit more and then go on to the next side. A piece of me really wants to snip this, but I personally feel like the shears that I have aren't sharp enough. So I'm not going to do a trim on myself. Um, the only time I use them is when I find single strand knots that, knots that I have to cut out, but I ain't trying to do a full trim with those. They're not sharp enough, so. So, I'm already at like 40 minutes with, um, blow drying my hair, so I am going to come off camera and come back, um, when that is done. All right, y'all, so I am done blowing out my hair oh lord jesus i am hot i am tired it takes me forever to blow my hair out because this just it's not my ministry it's not my ministry i'm just saying um the side that i get to last always ends up being the side that doesn't get as sleek i'm sure you can kind of tell but i'm not i don't plan on um flat ironing so that's cool but let me turn around So you can see where all of that hits. So um, the last time I had my hair cut, my hair hit right like here, like maybe an inch above my bra strap when it was um, flat ironed. And now it's hitting like just flat iron without manipulation, like look where it's hitting. So. And no, I do not, I'm not doing a hair growth video because um, if you follow a lot of the practices that I teach you guys um, and explain to you guys, you know, it's, it's just all about nurturing your hair, you know? Um, like I said, I've never had an issue growing my hair. I grew up with a stylist in my family. My mom taught me how to take care of my hair at a young age. So as far as taking care of my hair goes, I've always been able to grow long hair because I've always been taught how to take care of it. You know what I mean? Um, but those are also the same things that I share with you guys. Of course, genetic, genetics is going to play a big role in those things too. And also the way you maintain your hair, the way that you try to, you know, make sure you're not doing excessive damage, excessive breakage. Um, using treatments excessively to the point where you lose your elasticity so um and no i'm not straightening my hair so don't ask me to if you do ask me to then i know you didn't watch this video and i ain't gonna respond so yeah i'm not gonna straighten my hair um because i just don't have time for that having my hair blown out already makes me want to chop all of it off i'm so serious like it's pretty and i love the way my long hair frames my face but I hate the maintenance of it, so I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm probably going to have to hit it with a blow dryer just like one more time because I do want to try to have like a bigger, like fluffy look. Like I'm, I'm going for all the hair around me, which is something I don't usually do. So I'll probably hit my hair with the blow dryer one more time because I know by the time I finish eating, my hair is going to start reverting. Like my roots are already... They're already trying to, so I'm going to go eat dinner and come back um, and get into the braiding process. Okay, y'all, so I am back and I've just had my hair in a ponytail. You can see the 
dent from everything. So my hair is feeling pretty good. Um, feeling pretty silky for the most part. I do think that I put a little bit too much of the curl primer on because my hair is a slight bit tacky. Um, and this does have ingredients that do like give a little bit of hold to your hair. So I'm going to separate my hair. So I want to do a side part. No, no, I like my side parts. It's not going to be a deep one though. I've got Copper in here with me. You can't see him, he's sitting there. <laughs> Say hi. If you haven't met my sweet boy Copper. Yeah, he's my little dachshund boo. <laughs> he's looking into the camera like, what's going on? It's my sweet boy. Yeah, so when y'all hear that, all that noise, it sounds like I, I have a Doberman at home, I don't. It's him. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do like three braids in each quadrant. That's what it's looking like it's gonna be. Like sometimes I wish I were good at doing like updos because can y'all imagine how big and fluffy and amazing an updo would be with my hair <laughs> blown out like this. So now I'm gonna use the curl smoothing pudding for Mono's hair. That's what she looks like. So this is a very smooth cream. Um, I haven't done the style like this in a minute. Like it's been a couple of years. So hopefully these products work well for this. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit, like that much. And smooth it through. I figured this would be nice because it has a really smooth consistency and I didn't think that it would overly revert my hair. I'm just going to brush this out a little bit. So I'm not looking for perfection here um, because that's not the look that I'm going for. So if the braids are a little bit frizzy, that's cool. If they're not, you know, perfect, that's fine. So what kind of styles have you guys been experimenting with? I feel like this is a good time for us to like try out things that we wouldn't usually try out, you know, just to see how they work, to work on our techniques, you know. So what are you guys trying out? I feel like I really should work on like my twist outs during this time too, because I haven't tried to perfect my twist out in a while. I used to have my twist outs like down when my hair was super duper short. And now that my hair is long, they be looking kind of questionable. I'm not gonna lie. So that's how those first three are looking. I don't care that the ends are kind of fuzzy. Um, and I also didn't want my roots to be laid down super flat because that's where I'm going to get a lot of my volume from. I will probably pick my hair out just a little bit when I take the style out. Um, just kind of help. I really don't pick my hair though because most of the time like with just my fresh natural hair, picking my hair out don't do nothing for me. For real though, I couldn't, 
I couldn't walk around with all this, y'all. Not all the time. I would come back bald in a hot minute. I'm kind of thinking after I film my Honey's Handmade the Melba's video, I might blow my hair back out and try doing Bantu knots. I haven't done Bantu knots in a hot ass minute. But back in the day, I used to do Bantu knots all the time when I had kind of like a, I was a little bit longer than TWA, but my friend Bree, um, she taught me how to do them and they came out so cute. And I decided that I was going to adopt that as my style because it, it, when you get it right, it gives you beautiful, like, blown out ringlets. I think the last time I did a Bantu knot out was probably, I think, my junior year of college. Yeah, because I did it during my, um, for my ring dinner ceremony. And it was really beautiful. If I have pictures, I'll insert them and show you guys what it looked like. It was a really pretty fluffy look and I haven't decided how I'm gonna sleep <laughs> um with my hair because I mean <laughs> um this these are the times when I wish I had one of those like super long bonnets you know one of them long ass bonnets This is what I'm more working with. So, nothing super special. Um, I still have some frizz on my braids and that is fine because, like I said, I do want this to be a more voluminous look. I don't want it to be super sleek and uptight. Um, so I mean, you could really like you could do this with whatever products you wanted to. Um, I just felt like these would be good to use for this style. I've been wanting to do this with these products since I reviewed them last year, and this is how much I used. So hardly anything. It doesn't take a lot to do what you need to do with this product. So that was a good run with these. Like I said, I do think I used a little bit too much of a curl primer, but that's cool now i know um so what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to sit underneath the dryer for like 20 30 minutes just to help set the curl pudding um and then i will tie my hair up probably with a scarf um figure out what i want to do there and go to bed and i'll come back tomorrow and give y'all a beauty shot of what my finished blown out braid out looks like so i'll see y'all tomorrow Okay guys, so what do y'all think? I think it came out pretty cute. It was like almost exactly what I envisioned. I think overall for the end result, using the products that I did, the Monos Hair Curl Collection really gave me um, really 
soft moisturized hair without um affecting you know the definition the definition is popping i don't have any residue flakes nothing like that so i'm a big fan of this look it's not something that i would do often because like i said i hate i hate having hair all over me like even now like as as super ass fly as this is like i'm also kind of like damn this is a lot of hair all around my head but i definitely love it so all of my all of my ladies that you know have hella shrinkage don't let nobody try to play you you know you know what you got up under there i think sometimes people don't believe me when i'm like i have hella freaking hair like my hair soaks up a shit ton of product just like a lot of other naturals um i have a lot of freaking hair and so there you go some of y'all wanted proof so here's your proof <laughs> but no so yeah i feel like um overall this was a good um just way for me to play around with different styles and see what i like um i intentionally left the roots puffy when i did my braids i didn't try to lay them down um and you can see why because imagine how flat this would be you know if i didn't have that extra volume here so that volume is going to maintain itself which i really like i'd prefer to have at least the front pieces um a little bit more voluminous that way if i want to keep it that way i can keep it that way um you can definitely get a sleeker look um a tighter pattern um doing this if you want to you just need to use a little bit more product i intentionally used very small amounts of product because i wanted to make sure that i maintained that super duper fluffy look to my hair because i do have five strands so when I'm doing styles on blown out hair, if I want them to be as super fluffy and voluminous as anything else, then I do need to make sure that I am being very conscious of how much product I use. Um, so yeah, again, you know, technique, the way you want your hair to look is all in the technique. I do have some places like in the back that aren't as defined. Like here. But, um... Like I've said before, the back is my struggle spot, you know, even when I'm doing like my braid outs on dirty hair, um, I find that that is the place where like, if I'm not going to get any definition, it's going to be there. I did get definition. It's just not as defined, um, you know, as these pieces here. So it kind of looks like I blew out my hair and put a crimper to it, um, with the exception of the ends. You can totally do perm rods on the ends if you want to, but I wanted to try not to sandwich my curls together too much. Clearly, naturally, some of them coiled up super tight anyway, like you can see here. That's just what my hair does. Like, that's what my hair does. But I didn't want to sandwich them together too much. So, yeah, I think this style is pretty damn hot. What y'all think? I'm feeling it. Um, That is, like, the one, like, nice thing about having long hair is because like you can really you know get big voluminous you know just super sexy styles i like the way that my long hair shapes my face i think i look really good with <clears throat> with my hair in a stretched out state but it's also a lot of maintenance and all that hair touching me and i just um Look, if you if you're a lover of short hair, then you know. You know everything that I'm feeling right now. This is fly as hell, but it's also like, damn, this gonna get on my nerves. So to preserve it, what I'm probably going to do, um, I'll probably braid it back up. I just won't braid it back into as small of sections as I did. If I'm feeling lazy, I'll just put my my scarf over it and just let it go and just keep letting it get big and super undefined. Um, but yeah is probably how I will maintain it. I'll probably keep it in for a couple of days um, just because I do want to try to give my hair a little bit of a break. So just let her be stretched, let her do what she wants to do, all that good stuff. Um, usually with styles like this, I'll keep it, you know, out for a couple of days and then I'll just, 
you know, go into like half up, half down, and eventually I'll do like a low pony or something. <laughs> um, because eventually I will definitely get tired of having all this hair in my face, but yeah. That is my super sultry, sexy uh, braid out on blown out hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't want it to be like a tutorial or anything like that because, you know, doing styles like this on my hair is kind of new for me because when I was doing them before, my hair wasn't this long, so... Um, you know, a lot of times as your hair grows, you have to adjust your technique, um, especially if you have layers in your hair, it, you do have to be a little bit more intentional and have to know what you're kind of up against when you have layers in your hair too. And since I do have layers, um, that also affects how my styles come out. But I feel like with the layers that my aunt put in my hair, um, my out styles, braid outs, twist outs, whatever, do come out a little bit more defined with a little bit more shape. Um, and I prefer how they look with the layers as opposed to just letting my hair fully grow out and having no type of layering to it. I don't prefer that, especially not with my twist outs and my braid outs. So I am a big fan of this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys just kind of enjoyed this informal style. Um, if you want to see me revisit a Bantu knot out, let me know because right now we have nothing but time on our hands and I'm just trying like to stay positive because the, the the worse things get the more like my anxiety amps up. I had a really bad flare up yesterday. I've been having really bad flare ups because of the mishaps with my medication because of Rona. Um, and so I have those and then the anxiety of everything. You know if you have a chronic illness then stress and anxiety will cause flare-ups if you are someone that does flare up so I'd be really careful with that so I'm trying to like kill time and try new things so if you want to see me revisit a Bantu knot let me know in the comments down below and let me know what other styles you would like to see I'm probably going to end up ordering some perm rods and some flexi rods and stuff like that off of Amazon because I I'm, just, I'm bored I'm reading you can see that big ass pile of books over there but still, like, it's it's nice to have some extra things to do aside from cleaning and Netflix and reading. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.